In this video, I talked to Yash, who is a second year student at Delhi Technical University studying chemical engineering. So we had a really interesting conversation about how Yash views the importance of computer programming and computer skills more broadly, even though he's not actually studying that day to day. So as someone who didn't go through the Indian education system, I thought it was really interesting to hear about how students and parents in India view the importance of programming and how that may actually miss the mark a little bit. And it's more important just to have a really good analytical ability and being able to work with computer and work with data. So this is part of a longer interview that Yash and I did. The remainder of the interview will actually be on Yash's YouTube channel. So I'll leave a link for that down below. You can definitely check that out. And if you're interested in this kind of content where I talk to interesting people, drop a comment and let me know and subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Hope you enjoy our conversation. How do you see the importance of computer science or just computer literacy more broadly as a non-computer science student? Like how important is it for you to be able to pick up coding or things like JavaScript or Python, even though you're not doing that day to day? So, uh, like, what uh, I, I like to start with an anecdote. Like, what happened was that uh, when I took up chemical engineering, it was uh, I was very skeptical because the thing is here in India, every everybody is all hyped up about computer sciences and studying computer science and getting a job at Google or Facebook. So that is the dream of the students or the Indian parents. So uh, I I have always had that dream as well because we are sold those dreams on, on YouTube videos when we see the Google Plex California and like the off the the swanky offices. So uh, nobody really likes to go into the core fields because that is a very blue collar kind of thing. So what happened was that uh, I my parents everybody was very skeptical about me taking up chemical engineering. So what happened was that we visited a faculty member before I got admitted here. And we actually wanted to talk about the prospects of chemical engineering and what I would be actually doing. So that prof, like I still remember, she said that uh, if a stream has been made and it's been continuing for the past 10 to 12 years, there has to be some work in it. Other otherwise, that stream would make no sense. And mm -hmm. what she said next was that uh, what you're thinking about chemical engineering or mechanical engineering the, the horizons are going to totally change 10 years down the line uh, when you are going to be a big part of the industry, when you uh, accelerate in your career, because your job would uh, be transitioning as chemical engineers from a blue collar job to a white collar job and uh, everything would be automated and everything would be happening in front of a computer. So uh, what, what uh, only one advice uh, that she gave me was that you have to be uh, like all in with the college curriculum, whatever the college is teaching. But uh, the Indian education system is made as such that if you're studying chemical engineering, you are studying chemical engineering. There's no way that the college would provide you uh, resources in some sort or you could attend classes uh, sitting with a computer science student just because mm. he got a better rank or a, 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 a rudimentary number which uh, makes him qualified to sit in a computer science class and not you. So what yeah. you have to do from your side is that you have to learn Python or JavaScript, something from your end, you will have to put in that extra effort if you want to see yourself in a white collar job 10 years down the line. So I guess that was pretty interesting advice from her. I feel like there is a, oftentimes a lot of emphasis on programming, like, okay, mm -hmm. you should learn JavaScript or learn Android app development in order to like mm -hmm. be able to code a web application or Android app, right? But I actually think mm -hmm. in some ways that misses the mark. There's a lot mm -hmm. of value in my opinion for just being able to really do things with the computer because not many mm -hmm. people have that ability. I think you're a good example, right? Like you, you're publishing videos, sometimes multiple videos in a week. And I think that, that obviously it shows that you have video editing capability. You know how to use the software um, for lighting and recording, all of that. And I think even things like that actually become more and more important as more and more of our lives are powered by software. So I'm wondering what you think about that. Like, do you think that there is enough computer literacy in India or is it too much focused on programming? Because I think programming itself may not have that much value compared to actually just being able to use the computer effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, like uh, what you said, so I, I, the same prop that, uh, that we were talking about before, uh, what uh, uh, one, one more thing that she said that I, that I really resonated with was that like with all the hype about computer sciences and softwares here in India, 
uh what is gradually happening is that the computer sciences uh, jobs 10 years down the line they'll start saturating and jobs where we are applying computer science to a whole different thing like if if you're trying to integrate computers with chemical engineering that would exp- exponentially yeah. go up because that is actually an untapped market so mm-hmm. uh that is one thing and uh, another thing uh, again like you mentioned youtube and me publishing videos thank you for that but uh so uh like reading all the analytics and uh trying to understand how consumers behave how how is the digital consumer behavior so i guess that could be a very important proponent for a company for me like what what i really believe is that the sponsors uh like whatever sponsors i get on the channel and whatever people i am interacting with uh they they've done their mba from very reputed b schools but they still don't know much about uh youtube as such so they they're asking me to do a video and whenever i say like uh sometimes i'm integrating uh the video promotion at 12 minutes maybe and uh they never get to ask me that like what what's the average watch time on the channel so if it is 6 minutes and i'm integrating the video at 12 minutes that means that is a pretty big loss for the brand so mm-hmm. if i am in that position so i am in a better place to judge so like what i really believe is that after college that could be a viable job proposition for youtubers as well they can actually become potential brand managers for the big brands because yeah. they've actually been in the industry done that done, done that groundwork and lifted their channels from from 0 to 1 so i guess that could be an interesting use uh, as well because like we know how youtube works and how analytics work and how to get the most conversions and how to get brand deals so uh, everybody every brand is now getting digital and running advertisements on instagram or facebook so uh, that could be a very interesting thing as well yeah. yeah i mean i think i think that that's really important because i think what you're saying is that you don't need to know how to build an app or like build a website right like the valuable mm-hmm. skill that you're providing is an mm-hmm. analytical ability right like the ability mm-hmm. to look at a dashboard or figure out where is the ad drop off like what is the cost of of reaching a certain number of people like that is so valuable and just knowing how to use a computer knowing how to look at data in some ways that is equally as important or more important than actually like being able to build an app makes sense like i have this friend at iit delhi and he's studying computer sciences there so top college top stream again so what uh, like i was having a general discussion with him and i was like that uh, man i don't know how to code and i i feel like a failure because like i've been stuck in chemical engineering here at dt and everybody's trying to learn to code and getting into yeah. hackathons and making it big and i'm like stuck in a rut and how do i go about it and uh, what he said was like uh, really uh, interesting he said that there's this uh, great professor there at iit delhi and uh, he teaches computer science to them and what he said was that uh, what uh, like learning to code uh, just the basic code that uh, I, i don't know how condescending this is but uh, what he said was that if i had to uh, make someone write code i'd hire someone from a tier 3 college you are studying at iit delhi that is already the best in the college so i i am trying to inculcate how to think and how to apply your mm. thinking into the code so that mm. is what uh, if a company is hiring an iit and and uh, paying them in six figures or seven figures it is because of their mind and what they have learned and what what values they have cultivated du- during their college years so i guess uh, so according to him that was very important and implementing all of this into code so uh, yeah. like you can you can hire people on freelancer to build a website because that that is very road work uh, but like thinking about new stuff and building things from the ground up i guess that is pretty important learning how to think and being okay. analytical is more important than the actual ability to just do something because you've memorized how to do something. I'm glad I got your perspective as someone who's not a computer science major. I'm actually really interested to see what you end up doing whether you will actually do something <laughs> in chemical engineering or you might I'm very interested to see what I, I'm going to do in four years. I I'm also not very really sure. <laughs> so I'll keep you posted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so if people want to connect with you more um where where can they follow your your journey? Ah, so like they can connect with me on Instagram or uh, LinkedIn or Twitter. So me and Rahul connected on Twitter. So Twitter is a great platform because I don't have a lot of reach on Twitter. So that is the easiest way to get to me. <laughs> Secrets revealed. <laughs> cool. Okay. So I will. I'll leave links for all that down in the description. Um, 
And I, I, I'm really glad that we were able to connect and we're glad we had this conversation. Thanks a lot, Yash, for coming on. Thank you so much. Likewise. <laughs>